Hey, welcome back to Two Step Small Grid. I'm Michael, and we have been busy. As you can see behind me, we have uh, replaced our old uh, inverter with two new EG4 6000 XP inverters. And right now, we're only using one. We haven't even hooked up the second one because I wanted to test the first one and see how much I could run with it before I brought the second one in and ran them together in parallel. There's a whole bunch of great videos out there on YouTube about the 6000 XP, how to set it up. Uh, what it does, what it's, and, and how to wire it up. Uh, I'm not going to cover that. I was curious on how much of my house I could run with one 6000 XP. So I thought we'd just do some experiments on it right now. Let's see what it can do. First test can it run my central air conditioner? Let's go take a look at my air conditioning unit. This is a two ton heat pump, so it's air conditioning heater. So we also have a one ton mini split system. So we have a total of three tons of air conditioning for the house. I've got the inverter wired up to the house running 100% of all the circuits in the house. So we're gonna see if we can start these air conditioners up with the 6000 XP. We'll see what happens. So we started this two-ton central air unit. There's no soft start on it, just directly coming from our, our service panel. And we're wired, the 6000 XP is wired into the service panel. Let's go take a look at how much power we're drawing. All right, we're pulling uh, just under one kilowatt on one leg and 1.3 kilowatts on the second leg. So about 2,300 watts right now, we're, we're powering. And we do have about, the battery's about 65, 70% charged, and we've got about 3,700 watts coming in off the solar right now. So uh, no problem, no problem starting a two ton central air unit with the 6,000 XP. But now that we've got that running, can we start another mini split? Let's find out. Good. Okay. Started up fine, no problem. So we're running two ton central air one ton mini split. Let's go see what kind of power we're pulling on the 6000 XP with these two air conditioners. Okay, with two air conditioners running, looks like 1.66 kilowatts on one leg. And a little over one kilowatt on the second leg. So we've got uh, about 1200 watts here. And we've got almost uh, 1700 watts here. So, uh, if the math's correct, that's uh, a little over 3000 watts. It says right here we're pulling uh, 55, 57% on one leg and 40% on, 41% on the other leg. So, great. You know, I mean, that's not bad. We're running uh, running the entire house, running the air conditioning, running all the electrical. Everything in the house is wired on this one inverter right now. And I was pretty impressed. Uh, for a 6,000 watt inverter, split phase, that's pretty impressive. And there are no soft starts on those air conditioners. I know there's a lot of videos out there about the 6,000 XP. Is it true? Is it hype? I'm pretty impressed. I'm, I would not have expected it to be able to run my entire house and three tons of air conditioning. Uh, our house, three bedroom, two bath, almost 2,000 square feet. Just want to apologize, it's been a while since I made a new video, but I really, really appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. And I'd also ask that you subscribe and support other channels that are offering solar education so that you can do your own DIY solar and make the right choices for your home
with the right equipment. And I hope you learned something from this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I learned so much from other people's comments, and I enjoy communicating with them. So I'm Michael. This is Remy. We're looking two steps from off-grid at Terry Hill Farm. Thanks for watching.